as you can see I had did my water changes this morning in both tanks here it was water change day and I cleaned all the sponge filters the double sponge filter I cleaned you know that sponge filter all the sponge filters I had cleaned this morning and I had resurfaced this sand over here and I decided to take the warm rock out of there. I didn't want as much caves. I want them to have more swimming space, you know. Especially for the botia so they can go through it, you know, with... Well, either way, they're going to go through them anyway. Here's, um... Sapphire right here. Who decides to make an appearance on the camera. And here's Sunshine. My two Ambona cichlids here. This one does uh, all the digging. Yeah, Sapphire over here. Well, she went behind the rock. Well, he's the one that does all the, you know, digging here. As you can see, he's starting to like, you know, build a dune here. <laughs> and it's my two angels I had recently, um, you know, got from my local fish store about a week ago. And here's the other guy right here. Some nice looking angels. So I have four angels all together. Including these two. My Grammys. My, my one Bolivian Ram. My one Keyhole Cichlid. And my Striped Raphael Catfish, you know. For the life of me, I cannot figure out where they hide all the time. I'm guessing somewhere behind this cave over here. In one of the bottom crevices. But my three quarries are always, are always visible. It's just strange. It's like they only come out during feeding time, you know. But they've gotten big. You know, I've had them for months now. And they've gotten big throughout that time. And let's take a look at my father's tanks here. Now for this guppy tank here, he had picked up two more ramshorn snails. And the ones on the glass here. And these female guppies are so pregnant. And the baby ones, they're about I'd say about two weeks old, they're about, they're starting to show color now. Which is really amazing. That one right there is definitely showing color. Here's the one Ramshorn. And the other one, there's, there's three of them now. I see the one, I see the two. Oh, here's the other one. <laughs> And there's three of them. <laughs> and my father's 20 tall barb tank here. And these cryptocorns are really taking off, man. Look at that new growth. And the new leaves in the bottom. That is that is truly cool. How much it, how much they've grown since he got them. All those new stems in the bottom, that is really, really cool. Now one moss ball towards the glass, the back of the glass, really has really taken off. And the one in front of it is reaching there. A nice looking male there, that guppy. Well, all of them. <laughs> and some more Java moss so the babies can hide. So when these babies are born, they can hide, you know, really in the crevices of the Java moss. And this 29 gallon cichlid tank here.
and he had resurfaced the sand too you know before it was like a big you know mountain like like a big hill and my father had resurfaced this today too well it's just a matter of time before they start digging it up again <laughs> Those cichlids are really known for that. I don't see Grumpy anywhere. Usually I would see him. Here's Jerry. There's Connie, the convict. Oh, I see him. There's Grumpy. <laughs> And that's it of our updates of our tanks today. So I'll see you next time and there's plenty more to come. Alright, bye-bye.